What is up, everybody? Mark here from Personal Training Biz. I might want to scream trigger alert before I even get into this video because I'm sure I'm going to upset some coaches here with this topic. But I know a lot of you have I've seen a lot, you know, some of my content where I I'm kind of begging a lot of coaches to stop with so much self-serving content. I mean, you see it. Um, and um, if you're doing it, I would highly advise you to maybe slow down, down on that a little bit. Um, and uh, because proof is that I get hit up by tons of coaches, mostly girls, that are a little bit tired of playing the game, you know, this self serving type stuff, you know, the really kind of almost half naked pics and videos, and it's all very sexual. And um, they get a lot of likes. They tell me this. I know this. You know, they're very honest with me. Mark, I get a lot of likes, get a ton of comments. Um, some of it is because I'm looking really hot and a lot of people see that and, and want to let me know and or I'm in an engagement group where a lot of the comments and likes are obligatory. But truth is that they're not making any money and um, they're not getting hired by the people they want to get hired by because, again, most of the content is very intimidating. It's not relatable to the general public, especially to the, you know, middle-aged females that want to coach, you know. Um, it's a little bit intimidating, a little bit scary. And uh, um, so I, I do, I, I, I preach quite a bit to, to stop with so much self-serving posts. And um, some coaches will come back at me, maybe here soon here in the comment section or usually privately, pretty nasty usually, but, uh, well, Mark, I'm just trying to motivate people and inspire people. I get it. But are you, <laughs> you know, some of you I know are, you have good intentions, but, but most are loving the pats on the back. It's very euphoric. I get it. Um, it's nice to be loved. And, uh, but is it leading to, um, more consistent clientele is it leading to more consistent money um letting you you know kind of sleep at night knowing that this is the the career that you want um that it's working you know those are the questions you need to ask yourself um and uh maybe start celebrating your clients successes um instead of your own you know and, and to you dudes you know your big pr bench press i mean you know, and this, if this is for your own uh, thing, you know, on social media and you're just kind of sharing with friends and family, fine. Other coach is good. But by and large, I figured that that most of you are are doing this to try to gain clients. And um, again, the proof is tons reach out to me every day and say it's not working. <laughs> you know, and again, they've got the wrong followers, the wrong connections on LinkedIn, the wrong friends on Facebook. And again, it's full. Their feed is full of self-serving posts. Not a lot of teaching going on. A lot of look at me going on. Um, um, you know, if you want to show some some times of you, of you exercising, let's do some teaching in the captions and in the post instead of just showing you doing it, you know, in, in hardly any clothes or dudes with your shirt off. Um, and again, you want to go that route. You don't have to listen to me. My my content is for coaches that want to grow their business with, you know, driven, committed clients that can afford their service. That kind of content doesn't work. So if you're not wanting to do that, unfollow me. You can, you know, don't like this post. Don't, I don't know why you're still listening and watching, but that's what I do. And um, I really want more and more coaches to understand this, that social media isn't the end all, should not rely on it one bit. Most of the, the people that you want to have hire you don't even have Instagram, but that's where you spend all your time. Makes no sense. Probably most of your clients um, are on Facebook. So if you would celebrate your clients, pictures, videos of them working out, tag them, ask for permission to tag them. Also ask them to let that be on their feed so that their friends, mostly other women in that age range, will see their success because of the help of their coach. That's great testimonial work right there. That's that's fantastic posting, you know. So again, my tip in this four and a half minutes is let's stop living for likes. Let's stop living for pats on the back. Let's start celebrating our clients. Less celebrating of our own gains, more celebrating of theirs. Um, and I think that would also, you know, help your business um, and maybe your psyche about what social media is all about and how it could actually help you instead of almost burden you. Because instead of just waiting for likes and, and, and hope, hoping that you get great engagement that you're going to um, um, do well by uh, and, and have your expectations in the right place, your mindset in the right place by 
showing your clients successes that of course are using your expertise for help you know their friends and family should see that most of these um, and i'm mostly again talking to you ladies because you're the ones that hit me up about this um, social media really fiasco almost that it's turned into um with trainers in my my professional opinion um a lot of the ladies that want to work with you are 40 50 60 years old they're probably on facebook and their girlfriends are also on facebook um and they have a low number of friends on there maybe it's two or three hundred so you're the likelihood of them seeing a post that they were tagged in um with their coach it's pretty good so anyway took up too much of your time almost six minutes um thank you so much for the continued support any questions at all go get into the comment section um and uh let me know your thoughts uh in, in any way i can help you or of course what most people do is hit me up privately um private message me or uh, email me mark at personal training and and um i'm here for you so um almost uh, 23 years 23 years in june so uh um Again, just want to give back and uh, help as much as I can. There's no catch. Just uh, hit me up and you'll, you'll see. So again, I'll leave you alone. Thank you so much. Talk very soon.